What's going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. Today, we're going to be doing some stock analysis for SoFi stock. This is a stock that started getting popular a couple years ago. It went public in the end of 2020, and they are a fintech app stock. They're also a, a website. They give out loans. They do offer banking services, stuff like that. Now, this stock has peaked at $25 a share in January of 2021. Today, that stock, this stock is only $5 a share. Well, unfortunately, I bought the stock at around $13, I want to say, and I ended up selling at around $8. So I lost some money, but it could have been a lot worse if I still had those shares. So I am glad I sold. If we take a look at the performance of SoFi's revenue, what we're going to find is that they're growing revenue nearly 60% a year. So it's a very fast growing company. They're acquiring lots of users and everything looks good from that perspective. However, if we get a little bit further into the details, what we're going to see is they consistently lose money. They've been losing at least two or three hundred million dollars per year, and that's not good. So then we're going to take a look at the price to earnings. Since this company has negative earnings, we're going to use price to sales. And if we look at it from that perspective, it's actually not too bad, right? Because the stock has fallen so much that it looks like it's trading at a decent valuation. Here is the, let's see, where's price to sales? So price to sales is pretty much the lowest it's been, right? It's it's pretty low. So that's, that's from that perspective, it looks okay. Then we're going to get into the innovation of the company. I would consider this company pretty innovative and... I don't know if I don't know if they have a moat because there is there's a lot of apps doing what they offer, but they are innovative with the way they are offering all those different services in one app, right? The industry is growing for fintech apps. That's why there's so many of them out there. The return on invested capital is really bad. It's negative. The equity for this company is growing. And although I put although they have some goodwill as a major part of their collection of assets, it's still growing at a reasonable amount, 2.1 billion. Four, uh, three years ago, and then 5.5 billion today. So a little bit of improvement there. And about half of that equity is made up in goodwill, but they're still growing. So it's I would still give that a check. The equity, this is the interesting part. The equity is over $5 billion, but the, the company's valuation is only 4.8 billion right now. So again, it, from a valuation perspective, it's not a terrible deal, but it's kind of a risk because they keep losing money and there is a lot of competition. The share count, this is, a, this is another huge issue for the company. Of course, a money, a money losing company like this that needs, that burns through cash quickly because they have to keep growing is not gonna be a company that can afford to buy back shares. And in this in, in this situation, they're relying on issuing more shares because that's how they're going to get their money to keep growing the company. But the problem with that is it destroys the stock price, and that's why the stock price is down 80%. Then we get into, of course, the balance sheet is not great, so the assets are definitely not twice the liabilities. The profit margin is negative. Their cash and receivables are more than their average annual income, but the reason that's not a good way to look at it is because this company loses money. So even if they had one dollar in cash, then it'd be more than their income. So I don't really, I'm not too worried about that. I'm worried about can it cover their expenses, and it can't because their expenses are through the roof. Um, so that's going to be a no. Healthy dividend, they don't pay a dividend. The company is a little bit over ten years old, not quite twenty years old yet, and then. Pretty much the most important thing to look for here is growing free cash flow. And unfortunately, they're not there yet. It actually has gotten a lot worse. 2018, they did a, po a positive billion dollars of free cash flow. And last year, they did negative $7 billion. So that's not good. If we want to look at their expenses, what we're going to see here is expenses are growing very fast, right? So this is, let's see, the whole collection of it is probably... 1.6 billion, right? One so I guess you could say, let's see, 1.6 billion in expenses and the company has 1.8 in cash. So you so this one should be a check. We could we can give this one a check. They barely made it. All in all, even with that, we're still looking at a score. They only they only hit 6 out of the 15 on this list of criteria. 1 2 3 4 5 6. So that's why I feel like this is a risky investment. I'm not interested in buying this, but we will see what happens.